to contact this person and I went right along with it and the gentleman had said that they don't allow anybody in there during the testing anyway. So I would have had somebody in there but they don't allow it. Right. Well what caused the suspicion was I had contacted um, after she took the test we had called to ask for the charts because I wanted to have them reviewed. I had contacted at least 20 or 30 lie detector experts and they had told me that they usually keep the charts from one to five years. And this guy destroyed the charts in less than seven days. We were offering to pay for the charts. We were offering to have them reviewed. He okay, wait a minute. You wrote the questions. You, you, you got the, the, the lie detector, the, the polygraph examiner. She didn't know who it was until you took her there. She didn't know the address. She didn't know the name. She didn't know anything about it. You took her there cold, put her in the room. She took the test. She passed the test. And then you said she rigged it somehow. How did she rig it? Um, that's what I'm here to find out. To me, it's, it's, it's really, that's not me on that tape. Well, um, you, you also say that tape that you're talking about that you gave a full transcript for, we actually sent that tape out and had it reviewed. Uh, we had uh, Doug Carner. He's the president of Forensics Protection Incorporation. And he spent hours and hours and hours evaluating this tape. And uh, Doug, what did, what did you discern from the tape? He had a whole transcript of what he heard on the tape. What did you hear on the tape? Because of the brevity of the tape and uh, the poor quality, the results were scientifically inconclusive, but close. Uh, we can say with a statistical probability that it is Mario's voice on that recording, but it was below the threshold that we require to say absolutely. Okay, so we gave you a voice print of him from the interviews that we had done with him. You use that as a, con as a control reference. You match that to the vowel sounds, because you couldn't really make out words, but vowel sounds and patterns on the tape. And although it was inconclusive, you, you say that with there's a, a strong... probability, yes. There's a high probability that that's him on the tape. Correct. Okay. Now, have you ever met this gentleman? Nope, never met I, I assume him. not, because I've never met him. Mm -mm. Uh, I've never and met I've just him. met you. He probably thinks I'm sleeping with him, though. Yeah. So, <laughs> but um, this is this don't is Doug Carter here. Get me in trouble with here. my wife. You, <laughs> don't worry. I you don't. Won't. You don't think she knows him, do you? No. Okay. And and he, he's a professional. That I mean, they, they used every tool available. The sophistication that they bring to breaking this down is scary, actually. And he's saying it's so bad that you can't get a transcript from it. There's no way you could do it with a naked ear. And that if there is any indication at all, it's that it's you on the tape. So what do you say about that? Well, did you guys hear the part where it says, put your hands down? We did not attempt to try and hear what the words specifically were. We were looking at it at a data level, not at a word level. Do you that much want her to be guilty? Is it that important to you for her to be guilty? Because I, I, I don't get it. it. It seems like it's not that I want her to be guilty. If you're wrong, you're really screwing up. If you're right, you're really screwed. You totally think that I accused you, knowing that that was me on the tape. I don't know what's going on in your head, but it's not normal right now. Okay, well, I want to review some of the allegations that that he has made against you, and we kind of put it together here for everybody to see. All right. Morio says Christine was having an affair with both of her exes. Christine says she was not having an affair with either ex. Morio says he has Christine on tape having sex with her ex. Christine says it's her and Morio on the tape. Morio says Christine was giving massages behind his back. He noticed the massage table moved and he found money in her pocket. Christine says she wasn't giving anyone massages. Morio says she got dressed up to go see her ex. Christine says she got dressed up because she had plans with a girlfriend. Now, according to Christine, Morio accused her of cheating when she moved out. She says she thought Morio was the one cheating because of the way he was accusing her. So you guys have a very different way of seeing this. This is like there's no middle ground there at all. Mm -hmm. Right? Correct. Okay. Well, next.